Let's start with the Zoom ISO app. That's the right tool for a producer like me. It's a Mac app, and I'm a Windows person, so I bought a new Mac Mini just to run this one app. It's $500. I need to do another video. The new Mac Mini, is this is the best thing Apple's done since the iPhone. It is so powerful, get the lowest model. It can handle this in its sleep. And if you hang on to the end, I'll explain why it's a Mac only app, why it's not available on Windows, and why it's worth the $500, this one-time spend to add this to your streaming production. So here's how it works. I have my main streaming PC right in front of me. I have the Mac Mini off to the side, connected by network. It's running Zoom ISO. Zoom ISO connects to the Zoom meeting where my guests and participants are. Zoom ISO then gives me a list of the participants. It sees the, the participants' names inside the meeting and lets me assign them to the video feeds. It uses NDI, which is what, which is what we wanted to use. If you know what NDI is, you know. It's a video protocol and it allows video to go across the network with like no latency. It's amazing. It goes from the Mac mini across the network to my streaming software. And I see my Zoom guests in there, full quality, no latency. NDI is, is the right way to do this. So in Zoom ISO, I just assign my people by name to each video feed. And then on my streaming PC, I see these video feeds come in as sources and I could do whatever I want with them. 